Hey girlies, let's get into this hair transformation that I did on myself over the weekend. I was so obsessed with it, so I'm so happy that I was able to film it for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The hair is from Ashmary Hair. I will link that information down in the description box below, but let's get into this unboxing. So they sent out these cute, gorgeous bows to make your installs a little bit more fun and festive. Of course, you get an elastic band in your box. And they come with these little puffs. And I was like, girl, this is what I use on my makeup. But then I was just like, maybe they're trying to add it for comfortability purposes. You get some bobby pins as well as a wig hat. Now let's get into the start of the show. So coming straight out of the bag, you get this gorgeous unit. And of course they had to add that hair care instruction on the wig. So if you are a little, a little lost in the sauce or beginner friendly, you kind of know what to do if you want to revamp your wig or even just take care of it throughout, you know, the install process. So of course they added this elastic band to your unit so you have a snug fit as well as these combs even though i said the wig is the star of the show the method of installing is really the star of the show i love how they created these invisible straps to tighten the back of your wig with ease so you can get that super natural flawless realistic illusion to the back of your neck if you're trying to do updo styles this is going to be your go-to wig now this isn't my first time trying out this method but i always thought this technique was super innovative because not every girl wants to use glue especially when installing their wigs towards the back of their neck so if you're not that girl this is going to be for you if you love doing your updo styles but you do not want to commit to sewing your hair down i really love this method for that so i will link this information down in the description box below now as you can see they did an amazing job at pre-plucking pre-cutting as well as pre-bleaching these knots a gorgeous look but i always feel like i have to tint the lace on ashmary units i think it's so funny that they add that brown paper because i'd be so excited that you know it looks like it's my perfect complexion and i can just literally just pop it on and show my girls like you can literally just have an easy breezy beautiful type of install but girl every time i'm always having to tint this lace but it's all good nothing too crazy i'm just gonna slick my edges back with a little bit of eco no not eco styling gel a little bit of edge booster pop my flesh tone wig cap on because that helps with that tint as well but i really felt like i didn't pick the perfect color but we're not going to talk about it i'm going to adjust these invisible straps and make sure that they are comfortable to my liking and then i'm going to tuck them under this is a super easy process you guys all you have to do is pinch pull up and then tuck under your wig and then turn around and you're going to see how gorgeous this looks it looks super natural you cannot beat this method you don't have to use any glue or you don't have to sew your hair in. and of course we love that and we're getting into this hairline i didn't do anything extra to it i am going to take a little bit of this lace away because you already know it always be creeping down on your girl so we need to make sure it looks as natural as possible i'm taking away a little bit of my makeup so we can get this laid process together i used some lace melt spray and we're just going to pop the lace right on top after it gets tacky and i love this technique and of course i am going to use their elastic band because it came in handy i did take the puff sauce i felt like it was necessary but it is what it is so get into the pattern you guys i did want to pull the waves apart just so you can see how big this hair looked and then i'm going to go in with my hot comb and of course do a little bit of flattening to the perimeter so i can do my flip over method but i was obsessed with this super big fluffy look with the hair i think this will be like my favorite way in rocking this type of style i was contemplating on doing a middle part but then i was just like eh, let's do flip over but look at how gorgeous and how easy it is for me to run my fingers through this hair i was super obsessed um yeah so i'm just gonna take that elastic band off and then really appreciate the hairline but of course we just need to just do some more melting to it i am going to add my hot comb throughout the front again and then start creating these baby hairs so we're just going to finish customizing and then getting into the final look so just vibe out with me and then i'll give you guys my final thoughts about everything towards the end of the video All right, girlies, so I'm about to do a cute little updo style with their little bows, and I already molded my baby hairs down. I was trying to do them calm today, and I made sure to not do them on my sideburns because I just thought that it would just make the 
wig look a little bit more cohesive without them but this little style right here is just very simple straight to the point i wanted to add the bobby pins the gold bobby pins for a little razzle dazzle and i also added the pink little clips and y'all know this is definitely not my vibe but i wanted to try something just to see if i like it and i thought it was cute for like maybe photo purposes but this is not your girl this is your girl okay a little big flip over moment and the pattern is still gorgeous i wanted to show you guys what it looked like lifted up once again but we're gonna of course wet the hair i want you guys to see what the hair looked like wet if you wanted to you know revamp it see what the curls look like or the waves look like afterwards and i did another little cute updo style that i felt like was a little bit more my speed now let's get into my final thoughts about the quality this 360 everything that i feel like you guys need to know now, Ashbury is always going to eat with the hair quality 100% hands down. They got it. Even with their color units, it always gives quality every single time. So if you're looking for a color unit, definitely check out Ashmary because they're going to shock you, especially with their density. If you go up in density, the units are very much so eating. I love this type of pattern because you can also blow it out and curl it. And girl, when I say it looks super good, I have done that before and I was so obsessed. And I love, I love putting layers in wavier textured units because I feel like they stand out a lot more than doing it in straighter or body wave textures. Now, I also love the fact that they pre-pluck their units and they customize them as natural as they can possibly do. And even if you want to add any extra customizing, it's not a hassle to do so because they already have the pre-plucked, the pre-bleached, and the pre-cut. So I love that it's an easy, beginner-friendly type of unit, but, but also a unit that you can get a little bit more advanced with without the intimidation from um, working with a unit that's just straight looking rough okay but as you can see the hair looks gorgeous wet the 360 is gorgeous on this unit it's a bonus to have with this type of unit it's curly so you can throw it up in a bun and it looks amazing but i will link all their information down in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye girlies bye.